2022 LSU Invitational on April 30th was easily one of the most high-profile and high-performing track meets in recent memory. We saw Favor Ashe from Tennessee achieve a time of 9.79 in the men's 100, which would have been a new collegiate record, but the wind was just over the allowable limit. We also saw Jonathan Jones from the University of Texas hit a 400 meter time of 44.79. And who could forget one of the most iconic performances in 200 meter history? It's Arian Knighton, the 18 year old who achieved a time of 19.49 seconds, which not only smashed his previous world junior record, but it now ranks him at number four all time in the men's 200. Simply ridiculous. It seemed as though every single race at this meet was either a world-leading time or some other kind of record-breaking performance, and it was honestly that crazy. And only adding to the greatness of this competition was what happened in the women's 100 meter dash. For this 100 meters, we again had various Olympians and world medalists lined up for this race. But despite this incredibly deep field that was assembled here, one collegiate athlete took a very impressive victory in this 100, and her name was Favor Ophelia. With a wind legal time of 10.93 seconds, Ophili just ran her first ever sub 11 second 100. But this performance was also very significant for another reason. And that's because Ophili is now the first female collegiate athlete ever to break 11 seconds for the 100 meters and to break the 22 second barrier in the 200 meters. Back on April 15th, Ophili broke the collegiate record in the 200 meters, achieving an amazing time of 21.96 seconds. This was a huge achievement for Ophelia, and it also placed her as the fastest 200 meter athlete in the world at the time. And even though these two performances arguably make her the favorite moving into this year's NCAA championship season, there is one other athlete hailing from Kentucky, whose overall times in both the 100 and the 200 also make her a real threat to win both events later this season. In the 100 meter dash, Abby Steiner currently holds a season's best of 10.92, which is just one one hundredth of a second faster than her LSU rival. These times currently rank both athletes at number 3 and number 4 in the world right now, but when it comes to the 200 meters, the drama surrounding these two athletes only gets greater. Currently, Steiner holds an outdoor season's best of 22.05 seconds, which is almost a full tenth of a second slower than Ophelia. And at the moment, they rank number two and number four in the world in the 200 meters. And even though Ophelia appears to have the edge in this event, if we take a trip back to the indoor season, Steiner pretty handily outran Ophelia for the national title. And if we go back even further, Steiner ran a time of 22.09, which is currently the second fastest indoor 200 time in history. Now, returning back to the NCAA Finals, Steiner finished with a time of 22.16, which took down Ophelia quite convincingly, as she only ran a time of 22.50. But ever since the outdoor season has begun, Ophelia has been absolutely on fire, breaking the collegiate record in the 200, and she also just achieved a top 10 all-time collegiate mark in the 100. The battle of Steiner versus Ophelia is rapidly shaping up to be one of the most competitive rivalries in track and field. And with both athletes constantly running fast and taking down all other competition, who do you think will reign supreme come this year's outdoor championships? Leave your thoughts down below on who you think will win in both the 100 and the 200 meters come the national championships on June 8th. Thanks for watching everyone, and as always, until next time.